Same title, same author, but these two books tell a very different story. Bronner vertel aan Omid Scobie. With a Dutch plot twist that's resurfaced a British royal race round. And it's all about this incendiary interview. Also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? And who, who is having that conversation with you? What? That conversation <laughs> I'm never going to share. Um, but at the time, at the time it was awkward, I was a bit shocked. Their comments caused controversy and created a crisis within the palace. We never knew who made the offensive remarks until perhaps now. The Dutch version of a new book names names. By mistake, the author Omid Scobie claims. I edited and wrote the English version. There's never been a version that I've produced that has names in it. The book describes letters sent between Charles and Meghan after her Oprah interview. The English edition says that in the pages of these private letters, two identities were revealed. Laws in the United Kingdom prevent me from reporting who they were. But the Dutch version is different. Reading, but in those private letters, the identity emerged and was confirmed, and we've redacted the name mentioned. It comes up again in the Dutch book here. Meghan and Charles by letter discussed probable unconscious bias within the family after it was revealed that, and again, we've redacted the two names, took part in such conversations about Archie. This whole section isn't in the English version. Copies of the Dutch book have been cleared from shops and the journalist who spotted royal names revealed believes lawyers try to prevent this detail being published. I think they sent it to all the translators all over the world who were translating the manuscript, except for one country, the Netherlands. We're quite small, so easily overlooked, I don't know. Overlooked or lost in translation, it's another reminder Harry and Meghan have left royal life, but still make headlines and uncomfortable reading for the royal family. Laura Bundock, Sky News.